Hey guys, Zuljan here and welcome to something I'm very excited to show you today called Mages of Mistralia. So my good friend Dan over at Borealis Games gave me permission to play the adventure mode with you guys today. I can't cover sandbox with you because everything's unlocked and it's it's kind of a uh, uh, just like a, almost like a cheat, you know, but you get to experiment with spells. But the game's all about crafting spells and using magic to navigate all sorts of crazy terrain and traps and uh, to fight enemies with. And I want to show you a little bit of the game today. I did play just a little bit, um, just to make sure that everything is in order. And um, I do have a few things to cover with you. First, this is a demo. It was made in November. The game is not finished yet. Uh, also, there's no real story mode that's integrated in this one. Um, and again, I can't stream the sandbox mode because there's going to be a lot changed and they want to make sure that everything is 100% accurate when they show you the whole game. But right now, the demo build is good for adventure, so we're going to go ahead and start with one and it's going to take us through a small tutorial. Feel free to pause to check out any of the lore that I'm passing by. just want to kind of show you guys the gameplay. So this is going to be the tutorial here my red flowing locks and big blue orbs I love the art style in this game it's beautiful all right hey go to Haven here where I will train you okay we're on our way to Haven I suppose so we're gonna head down the path here and it's going to start introducing us to some of our powers like the power to make dust with our feet our fall off of a rickety bridge trash in the water I suppose it could be like a pool of acid. It could be a lot worse, right? And we dry off almost instantly because we are ballers. Great! How am I going to reach Haven now? Uh, I suppose going down this path and finding a way. Borealis Games presents a game produced by Louis Felix Cochon. Is that a Cajun? Directed by Patrick J. Mondu. Maybe that's Cajun too. If I if I mispronounce those games, you guys, I apologize. <laughs> Mages of Mistralia. Ooh, scary. I guess. I wonder if we can. I wonder if that's a phone book. Maybe we could call somebody <laughs> to come pick us up, <laughs> get us where we need to go. <laughs> the Haven, a spell book. I wonder what it's doing here. Who are you? Did it just speak? Or was it my only in my head? Well, perhaps you'll do. Fear not, young mage. I can get you back on your way. I'd better take it with me. All right. So, yeah, it isn't a phone book. We're not calling an Uber. This is a spell book. It appears to be communicating with me telepathically. I don't think Minter's book does that. It's like a smartphone of the magic age. Here, let me show you how to use a MIDI spell, okay? Imidi, like immediate, allows for instantaneous spells such as slashes and explosions. And we use B. I am using the controller for this. Yes, there is mouse and keyboard support, but controller is baller, so I'm using it. Um, I'm using an Xbox One controller, by the way. Let's immediate this store, and it opens up the door immediately. Okay, I'm going to stop. Um, and what is this? It shuts the door. Ah, uh, there's a... Oh, I'm gonna immediate this freaking goblin's face. Get back! Back, you beast! Immediately. Alright, I said I'd stop. I'd stop, for real. Um, okay. Goblins this bold? Which mage isn't guarding this part of the forests? Maybe he took a lunch break, man. Maybe he ordered takeout. Story and lore by Ed Greenwood. I think something happened to the mage that was guarding this part of the forest. Here you'll need a new trick. I will teach you how to cast an ego spell. I already know how to do that. I am beautiful. No, not that kind of ego. Ego allows you allows for spells affecting oneself, such as shield and fast movement. So I could use right trigger for ego, and it gives me a shield. So all the spells have elements, too, and you can switch those out. The customization is going to be very, very cool. I'll show you how it works. For now... Let's just shield ourselves from the leaf blower. I don't know if that's like a John Deere leaf blower or a snapper or a Kubota or whatever, but it was a leaf blower. Hey! I deflect your, your small toothpicks. You ain't got nothing. I'm gonna come immediately your face. 
take all that. And I'm gonna loot all your pots. Everybody loves pots in games. They always have such goodies. Marketing and business developed by Dan Alderman. Hey, Dan! Dan's who gave me the key. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. I feel you have a natural affinity with the next one. Yes? I call it an acta spell. I uh, okay. Allows for spells with conditional duration, such as mines and projectiles. Actus. Ooh. It's a fireball. Actus. Yay! We get through the door now. Let us continue. Hey, bro, you got a log in your window. And some branches. Y'all need to clean up around here. Hire a yard man. Hey, come back here. Oh, I see. Okay, Actus. And... Tadadness. That's the that's my next spell, Tadadness. Okay. <laughs> As in Tada, the magic. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. If you didn't get it already, you're not gonna get it. I'm not explaining it to you. Look at the wiki. All right. What? Actus. Act. Actus. Act. Never mind. Immediate. Immediate. Surrender immediately. I know I said I'd stop. The jokes are going to continue. I can't help myself, guys. So, uh, the blue drops that I've been getting are to refill mana. The red drops uh, are to refill hearts. And the green, I guess, is a currency or something? You have only one spell type left to learn. Oreo. No, <laughs> it's Creo. I guess like Creator? Creo allows for spells with a durable effect, such as ice bridges and firewalls. Okay. Uh, Creo, 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 we got ice. That's, hey, hey. Would you, he just made a nasty face at me. <laughs> there we go. Wait, there's pots. Wait, I'm not ready. Yes, now I'm ready. Okay, activate. Looks like I could use this to get out of here. Let's go. For the demo, we decided to skip the rest of our, our introduction scenes now that you're familiar with the basic spell types we're teleporting you to the game's first dungeon out of seven i do believe a missed go well not seven in the demo seven in the uh the release uh when it comes out i think that's what dan said a mystical ancient observatory of the mage kings that was built atop of mishala's highest peak in the early years of the dynasty despite its vulnerable age the temple was so well preserved that some instruments remained functional for most of the reign of the marquis Uh-huh, the Sky Temple, huh? Ooh, look at all the traps. And it looks like some sort of big arena up front. Okay, so I imagine I'm gonna have to light these torches. Can I break these? Uh-huh. Ooh, and I got a chest. Was that from breaking the icicles? I actually think that was for, um, for just defeating the monster. A little bit of delay here. Move adds movement behavior to the spell usable with orge, orb, conjure, and self. So this is where Mages of Mishdalia gets really, really interesting, you guys. You can now enter the spellbook menu to design a ranged spell. Try combining your new move rune to your orb spell. Okay, so I'm going to briefly go over this. You have the four different spell types that we just got in the tutorial, and there's elements associated with each of them. Plus, there's going to be abilities that you can add to the spells, like augments as well as the uh, the upgrade that we just got. So let's let's go ahead and go to Actus here. Let's select this. We're gonna go to Edit It, and we're gonna we're gonna add move behavior to it. Now you can see there is a bunch of different locations. You see the fire in the middle. You see how they have arrows pointing at each of the designated blinking spots. This is kind of the tutorial to show you how to do this for the first time, but you can try to add move to any one of these areas. Now, if it's at an, an, a place that it won't activate, it's going to go clear like that, transparent, okay? So, adds a movement behavior to a spell usable with orb conjure. Okay, so let's see. For instance, if we put this in front of us, naturally, it's going to go directly in front of us, right? Okay, let's try that a little bit differently now. Let's go to Actus. And let's change the position of it to like right here. So now if we use it, I don't know if it did anything different. Uh, the combinations of the spells do do some really, really cool stuff later when you start getting more behaviors uh, and more augments. So right now, 
we can light all three of these fires. Yeah, and we found a key, so we can go to the next area. Here we go. All right, what awaits us at the next spot? Apparently some grunting goblins are there. No, you don't. Haha, <laughs> deflected it. How you like fireballs in your face? You like that? Huh? Okay, there's a little barrel here. You, we all know what red barrels in games do. Explodey! Okay. And... Uh, ooh. That's new. Purple? Okay, so... Hmm. Let's see here. We'll need to get past this. I wonder if you, uh... Oh, wait. You can't... Oh. But you can't walk like that. But you can block it? That's interesting. It does take mana to hold that out. Oh, I see. Hold on. There we go. Perfect. Alright, let's do that again, huh? Let us through. Thank you. Uh-oh. That was a bug. It tried to kill me. Wait, let me get all this stuff. I don't want to miss any currency here. If there's any currency, or whatever they those green things are, I want them all. It is a collectible. And you know what you're supposed to do in games when you co collect stuff? You collect them. Hey, where are you going, buddy? Uh-huh. I smell a trap. Okay. <laughs> a wall just closed off behind me. Alright. Eat fire. What? Wait. What? Wait. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. Okay. I'm gonna take these two guys out first and then I'll deal with, uh, oh boy. He keeps... Oh, he goes through like a resting period, then he teleports. Oh, wait. That sucks, though, that he just catches your fireballs like Neo in the Matrix. That sucker just, he's got bullet time, and he's like, nope, nope. <laughs> Too bad it tires him out. All right. So, hmm. What is this? Winter has come. Um... Can we retrace this shape anywhere? Oh, wait. Oh, I see. All of these things are connected. Okay, I'll tell you what. There. Okay, that. Uh-huh. Oh, no. Wait. Yes. Okay, that's correct. No. <laughs> this is crazy. Um So this is not correct right here. This is a little bit hard to line up. Like I'm really not sure exactly what to do here. Winter is coming it said. Okay. How about... No. No. Okay, I'm trying to figure this out here. And then this goes to... Maybe here? Okay, that's good. And then this goes to here. And then this goes to here. And this goes to here. Done! Whoa! What? What did I just unlock? Looks like this switch activated an old mechanism. If you have the time, it might be fun to see what happens once you hit all of the switches. There seem to be five switches in total. If I have time, of course we have time. Alright, where are the switches here? Um... Where are the switches? That's a switch? Hmm. I'm not really sure what he meant by that. Or what it meant. Looks like we could come around there. We can't go through here.
So, oh, and what's through here? So I don't have anything to break those doors. Let's see here. I'm really not sure what they mean by hit all the switches. I really can't do anything with these things. It looks like I could destroy that. It ta it's like it takes a fire barrel or something, though. Hit all the switches, it said. Does it tell me again? No. Hmm. Maybe you have to come back here or something like that? I'm thinking that I don't have all the stuff that I need to continue here. Um... Can we proceed further here? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Just right around the corner here. Okay. Let's see here. Um, sorry, guys. I just had to check something right quick. Okay. So... More enemies? Yet immediate? I know I have this fireball. Okay, I got it in time. Oh, we can kill this thing. Blew it up. Nice. So imagine it's just gonna prompt us as we need to try to use new spells. I can experiment a little bit more for you too, but let's see how it goes first. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have enough gusto right there. We're going to need something to open those types of doors. Maybe this is it. Right. Makes the attached behavior turn to the right. Oh, okay, so it's an augment. You just found your first augment rune. Augments don't add a behavior to your spell. Instead, they only modify a rune they're connected to. Try connecting it to the move rune. Okay. Uh, let's see. Edit your act to spell. Okay, we'll edit it. And right. So right, we have to connect it directly. Oh, wait. There we go. It's connected directly now. So it's going to... I wonder... Can we do it just like this too? Ah, oh, I see. Okay, so this connects differently though. All right. Well... Let's try this. Let's see what happens. Okay. That's kind of weird. What would you use that for? Oh. I see. Maybe I have the wrong uh, setup here. Alright. Let's try it at this spot. Uh-huh. <laughs> I got that little twist, boy. Oh. Wait. <laughs> Ain't that cool. I like it. So we could probably use that with some of the other stuff too. Let's open this. Get some more of that currency, I guess it is. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh. It's like it goes around and around. <laughs> Alright, I'll tell you what. Let's fix our spell back to where it was. Let's take the right rune off. And just put it back. There we go. Act the spell is back to normal now. What about ego? Let's, um, I want to mess around with this a little bit. So, ego is earth right now. Let's just put move on it and see what happens. So, we'll put move. Oh, we can only put move like that or like that. Let's put it right here. Okay. And now we try that. Oh. <gasps> Noob. It drove right off the cliff. That is awesome though, man. I got a travel power now. Almost. Oh, hello. Okay. That's really cool. So what happens if you... Hold on here. We're just getting good. What happens if I change the element? Let's do... I don't know. What is that? Lightning? Okay. Ah, okay. It'll give you a lightning charge. So I wonder if this does it with fire and ice as well. Let's try fire. Yeah, baby. Oh, snap. Well, we, since we're in the cold area, we'll do it like that. Uh-oh. Dang. That kind of hurt. 
It's a snowman. Frosty the snowman. Okay, that's the first, that's one of the next switches. I see now. So we have to go to all these different areas and unlock. Beautiful. Okay. Something tells me we're going to get some different kinds of spells here. Okay, activate this. That teleports us to... Whoa. Hello? I think you'll need to go faster to solve this one. Go faster to solve this one. How? Hmm. What do you mean by that? Did you know that you can put your move rune on more than one focus? Um, yeah. But, so I put my move rune onto this. Okay, let's try a few things here. I definitely need to be able to hit that curve with Actus. I'm thinking it has to be to the right here. So let's try to edit that. You know what? Let's you let's let's add a different one here. Okay. This is good. This is what I want. Okay, move. Okay, we'll go move first. And then we'll go right. Just like we did before. And now. Hmm. No. So this does go. Hmm, I'm confused. Maybe it's not Actus. Okay, what about Creo? If we do Creo, uh-huh, we do Creo here. Let's change, it's on ice already. Let's add move. Oh, wait, let's add move first. Okay, I can add Creo and I can add move. Now what happens? When I... Okay, it doesn't appear that I have any space outside of this area. Oh, I can just go right around to it. Oh, I see what's going on. I see what's going on. Okay, let's light this. Oh, wow, it is fast. Alright, let's try it again. Dude, it is incredibly fast. Okay, maybe we have to put right on this one too. Okay, so let's do ego. And this is move. And then we do to the right. And it'll make us go in like... Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be it or what. No. <laughs> you, you would think that that would be it, but it is not. Okay, <laughs> let's take off, uh, let's take that off. It, it has to be this way though, but I'm wondering if maybe I should change my element. I don't know if that'll make a difference or not. Let's try ice, huh? I don't know if that's as long or whatever. I got it. Ice may be a little bit faster or maybe I just got it a little bit more accurate. At any rate, I did get a new behavior, duplicate. It's multiple multiple instances of the spell usable with orb and self. Okay. So uh, I have Actus already. Let's do Actus 1. Let's change that and do duplicate. Okay, so it's gonna duplicate just like that. That's exactly what I thought it would do. Okay. So what if we I am missing something here. Is it any different? No. 
No, I don't think so. Okay, but I do like <laughs> the triple fireball. This is wonderful, man. Looks like we have a little bit left to go here. I think I'm going to continue this LP in the next episode, you guys. I hope you all really enjoying Mages of Mistrali. If you are, give me some dab on that like button to show you support. Check out the links in the description below for their Steam page for more information. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. This is Zul'jin signing off, and we'll see you next time.